how would you say your decision to join the Dolphins has aligned with your expectations? Uh, what do you mean by that? Are you saying like just in general? Yeah, just 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 in general. Yeah, I mean, I I feel like everything's been pretty good. Can't complain. You know, we have a chance at the playoffs, playing a lot, um, playing with people I like. So, yeah, it's pretty – it's going smooth. Dolphin. Hey, Kyle, how is the, the hip feeling and, and how disappointed were you that you, you missed the, the game last week? <laughs> Man, I'm, I'm just focused on trying to – trying to get better each and every day. That's all. I can't control some, some can't control some stuff. Adam? Yeah, Kyle, it's uh, kind of a role reversal for these two, these two teams. Often it's the Dolphins who tried to play the spoiler for the Patriots, and now the Patriots are pretty much a long shot to get in and they can spoil your plans. What was it like when you were in New England and you had teams like the Dolphins who this would be their Super Bowl because they're, they're, they were trying to knock off the champs? I don't remember what it was like. I don't remember what's going on right now. And we play the Patriots on Sunday. Travis? <laughs> hey, Kyle, how's it going, man? Um, it's going. I wanted to ask you, I, you know, I know it was a long time ago back in week one, but I was curious, what are some things the defense can do to, to help limit the Patriots run game this time around? I think it was the season high allowed at rushing yards for your defense uh, in that game. What can you guys do to kind of get that fixed this time around? You know, I think it's just better communication. Uh, a lot of, you know, just playing, playing better. Um, I think we're comfortable with, where we're at and we got to make strides of getting better each and time, each time we take the field. And I think, you know, I, as, as an older guy, just playing better and having everybody play better helps as well. So I think it's uh, a lot of different things and I hope we can do our best to slow it down. They're really, really good. Obviously the third, I believe the third in rushing in the league. Um, their O line's amazing. Um, Cole, the O-line coach, does a really good job getting those guys ready to go. Um, that rookie's playing really well, and Illuminor is playing well. And the backs, Damian Harris is playing really well. Sony still got juice. Obviously, James White's um, just around all amazing. And then you got Cam Newton, who still runs the ball really well. Uh, and he's doing a lot of things well. So they, they do a good job, and then you could splash in the, um, the receivers too. They all run the ball pretty well too when they get that, the ball on sweeps and different things like that. But Bill's got him playing hard, and he's a really good coach, and they're doing a really good job running the ball. All right, we'll take two more. Ruthie? Kyle, how much trash talk is going on between you and the McCourties this week? <laughs> I haven't talked to him. Come on. Well, I'll talk to them after the game. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> Kyle, uh, what, what's your opinion of um, South Florida weather in December? Ooh, Joe, come on, man. Look at this hair. This hair is looking good for the sun. No, but honestly, it's a blessing. Um, I mean, I'm a sun person, so anytime you get to wake up and have the sun beaming on you, it's a blessing. Like, just being in the sun feels better. You're a happier person, so it's good. Hey, Matt, it's so good to see you. Thanks for joining us. I'm glad you're back. Um, can you kind of fill us in on what we missed? How How was the last couple of weeks for you? Did you Did you have symptoms or anything like that? Uh, I, don't, I, was, I was feeling fine the whole time, you know, just going through the whole process of, you know, whatever I had to go through. And I'm really just happy to be back out here. I love football, so I'm happy to be back. Adam? Yeah, Matt, I mean, as an NFL player, you know that any snap can lead to an injury. You, there are obvious ways that you would miss time, but this seems like something that kind of unforeseen. Uh, what was it like 
being out for something that wasn't injury related? Oh, it sucks. Especially you know, knowing that you can play healthy and nothing physically wrong with you really and you just want to play. It sucks. But like I said, I'm happy to be back out here with the guys. Um, a great job um, with everything. And you know, I'm just happy to be back to help contribute with the team. Dolphin. Hey, Matt. Um, you know, obviously the season probably hasn't gone maybe the way you have wanted it to go. Um, I wanted to ask you, you know, what do you see for yourself in the final three games? And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. What do, you, what do you see for yourself, you know, in the final three games coming up here? Uh, just doing whatever I got to do to help help our team. You know, I feel like we have a great shot this year. Uh, doing, you know, uh, accomplishing our goals and doing what we want to do. Uh, we just got to handle business last three weeks. And uh, like I said in the beginning, I'm going to keep saying it. Uh, whatever the team asks me to do, I'm going to do. Omar? Want to ask you, Matt, uh, obviously COVID is no joke, but how uh, you, you had a break because of um, the, the ham, mm, can't remember what the injury was, um, but now you had a break because of COVID. It, do you feel fresh? Yeah, I feel great. Uh, I feel 100% healthy. I'm ready to go. You know? Sorry, I was, uh, my button was stuck there. Um, the last time you played, I believe you had 10 touches against the Jets, including eight carries on uh, November 29th. Um, what do you remember about how things were going that day? Did, did you feel like things were going quite well? Uh, yeah, I feel like, you know, we uh, were executing well. Um, you know, you always want to do better, but I feel like, you know, things were going well. Uh, I feel like we were running the ball decently. And, uh, you know, just like another game to me, um, you know, getting to a good rhythm. Um, our team was playing well. Defense was playing great. Coaches were coaching well, so everything was going good. Travis? Hey, Matt. It's good to see you again. Um, you were part of a team that obviously made a run all the way to the Super Bowl. Mm -hmm. The Dolphins being one of the younger teams in the NFL, what kind of value do you think that experience and playing in so many big games last year brings to this year's team? Uh, it brings a lot, you know, because whenever guys ask questions or – you know, especially I would say the rookies, not so much the, the older guys, because, you know, I feel like a lot of those guys played in big games before. But, I mean, you know, every week you just treat it the same way. You don't treat anything differently. You don't go to try uh, go out there and try and make a big play. You know, just do your job uh, at the end of the day. And I feel like, you know, we got a great team, talented uh, guys, and, uh, you know, I'll take care of business as long as you just focus on what you got to do. Uh, don't treat any game different. You know, Matt, I was thinking about how you, Savon, and Miles – have all been, you know, various things, whether it was injury or the COVID-19 list. One or the other is const it's constantly something. I'm wondering, do you guys have like a running back text message thread or something? Nah, uh, I mean, it's just 2020 for you, man. It's a, it's a crazy year. Uh, with everything's been going on, you know, just a bunch of unfortunate things. But at the end of the day, you know, we got guys on the team that's up no matter what happens. And, uh, you know, that's why we're at where we're at now. Okay. Hey, Matt, greetings from Boston, where we got a foot of snow today. So uh, we'd rather be where you are right now. Um, we, we know Brian Flores very well up here from his time with the Patriots, but we only know him. Uh, we don't know him as a head coach, uh, something that he is now in, in Miami. You've been around the league, uh, played for a few different coaches. What have you learned about Coach Flores? Um, you know, what are some things that you've grown to appreciate about him? Um, just that he treats every player the same, no matter how good you are or if you're on the practice squad, he expects, you know, great things out of you. Um, he's a great coach. He's going to be coaching for a very long time in this league. Um, it's rare that, you know, you're around uh, coaches like him, you know, who are fairly young, who understand what it takes to win and all the, you know, just, just what it goes into this game. And uh, since I've been here, you know, I just see nothing but great things about him. And, uh, you know, I'm just lucky that he's my head coach. And uh, I think you know, all the guys on the team feel the same way. We all want to play for him. And, you know, just go out there and put everything we've got on the line for him. And uh, he does the same for us. So uh, he's just a great head coach. Brandon, what's going on, man? I I have a feeling, you know, because of so many other draft picks here, sometimes maybe you're, you're, you're forgotten because there's just been so many and maybe you don't play such a prevalent role as everybody else does. Um, how would you say your rookie season has gone, man? And how would you say you've improved over the course of the year? Yeah, I think it's gone pretty well. Um, obviously, a lot of stuff has been a learning experience for me. Um, 
when it comes to just being able to fix correct uh, fix corrections during the game, during practice, learning, um, just overall learning, I think. Um, and just my role, you know, just being able to do as much as I can and help out the team any way I can. So um, just being able to multitask and being able to kind of attack it in a you know, approach the best way I can possible. No. Hey, Brandon, um, the first game against New England was a long time ago. What's something that you guys maybe learned that you can implement uh, against Cam Newton? Uh, you know, Cam does a – he does a really good job of just, you know, controlling that offense and making plays – uh, in the passing game and obviously on his feet for his, you know, a, a dual threat quarterback like he is, um, you know, a, a big pillar of our of, of our of our defense um, every week is, is to stop the run. So I think that's the kind of the mindset we go in each, each and every week is kind of minimize the run and do what we can from that standpoint. And then, you know, from there, being able to play our ball. Omar. Brandon, uh, you played a significant role in last year, uh, last last the previous game against New England, actually starting your first NFL game. Um, tell me, how has the Brandon Jones now that's going to play on Sunday improved from that player in week one? In yeah, what I, um, I would just say the com comfortability level on the field. Uh, I kind of I watched the game, obviously, preparing this week, and – I feel like I'm a totally different player just from knowing kind of the next step, what's going to happen and just, you know, being comfortable at the end of the day, you can kind of tell um, I was pretty antsy, you know, and trying to be everywhere all at once, but I kind of just understood and, and realized, you know, uh, my, my job, what I'm, what I need to do, how can I help and always kind of being aware of the next step before it happens. I think that's something that's progressively gotten better over the weeks. Travis. Hey, Brandon, we talk a lot about with you guys and coach and stuff about the week to week nature of this league and having different game plans for, you know, different teams. I'm curious, going from one week where you're playing this, you know, high flying attack like the Chiefs to this week to one of the teams that rushes the ball more than anybody else. What's that? What's that change in, in, in the like as far as going from preparing for that type of offense to this one? Uh, you know, it's. I think I'm in a uh, kind of a different position than a lot of other people. Uh, I guess just from being a rookie and what they what they asked me to do. Um, my biggest thing is just kind of I got to do my job. I got to get this done. This is the plays we're running this this week versus how we ran last week. But like I said, the biggest thing um, with every team, even, even the Chiefs, uh, obviously, just with the pillar of our of our defense being able to stop the run, that's something that that that, that doesn't change throughout the weeks. Adam. Yeah, obviously, uh, Bobby's status for this weekend is up in the air. Uh, I was curious. Do uh, you consider yourself a better uh, free safety or box safety? And if they ask you to play center field for 60, 65 snaps on Sunday, what will that experience be like? Yeah, so uh, I kind of do and, and play whatever the coaches need me to do. I have a lot of experience in college being able to play in the box, play, play high, so – um, I don't mind. Like I said, wherever they need me, I'll kind of do what, what I what I can do at the end of the day.